now, friends, we bring you your number one pop program. Isn't there anything intellectually stimulating, morally uplifting? Stimulating and uplifting? She's got something you could watch. The Avengers, the epitome of 60s swinging London. He was secret agent John Steed. She was Emma Peel, his oh-so-saucy sex bomb sidekick, played by the delectable Diana Rigg. Most of my profession in my early days was run by homosexuals, and it was very nice to be in a heterosexual world of lusting after Diana Rigg in a cat suit. You have to be a very strange man not to find Diana Rigg attractive. What are you, AC or DC? She was only 24, and she was just so naughty. That'll make you bristle, you beautiful bronze tabby. She was witty and a little bit troubled, and kind of intelligent and, and always kept her cool. It really wasn't till we got to the Avengers that a woman was allowed to be the intellectual equal of a man. Think of that. Now then, who's your boss? Hmm? I don't know. <laughs> Diana was able to throw men over her shoulder and still retain her femininity and still be a woman, very much a woman. <laughs> That wonderful way of her putting her hair back after she took to to boing. You know? oh, oh, I did that. She was all judo and jumpsuits, he was all bowlers and brollies. Together they were the classiest crime fighters in TV history. My idea of a celebration is to take wing on a flight to Paris, aperitifs at Lafayette, dinner in Montmartre. Look yours in the moonlight at Saint-Tropez. I do so agree. Start packing, Mrs. Peel. It was a, an 18th century man, and of course, Di Rigg was a 21st century woman. And the dichotomy of madness of these two together made no sense. It's almost a pantomime world. It's almost a costume piece, really. Although she spent most of her time romping around with Steed, Mrs. Emma Peel had a husband, but he'd gone missing in the Amazon jungle. Handy, that. Do you find her attractive? Not a patch on you. But the whole fascination about that relationship is, will she, won't she? He was always having a tease. Very artistic. Quite a flair, my pet. It's the great thing about the series is that you're never really quite sure. I mean, you cut to a scene in the flat, and they're there, and it's first thing in the morning. I mean, has she been there overnight or not? Actually, we know the answer. Sex was part and parcel, and of course we did it. You don't have to spend a whole night at it, particularly if you're trying to catch criminals. So the old man did taste Peel's forbidden fruit after all. Just to remind me, are you the man who... I'm afraid so. Emma Peel also seduced the fashion market. To be a successful agent, you've got to have feminine appeal and feline speed. The Avengers I love. In fact, all my ski wear is based on the Avengers. The cool beauty with the expert Irish whip is Diana Rigg, alias Emma Peel. Steed has no complaints. When you suddenly get Diana Rigg in a cat suit, which delineates every part of your body, and you then turn around and walk away, every man is going, oh my God. And yet nothing overt or sexual has been done. Just a woman in a cat suit. Stroking a weapon. If you had a really dirty mind, there was a lot to get to grips with in the subtext. Pain, Mrs. Peel. Pain. Lashings of it. Bondage is a very big fetish. So what we did was overtly and purposely ahead of its time, and we got a lot of fun in doing it. Excellent. Not from where I'm sitting. Ah, sense of humor. Admirable. But after two years of taking punishment from various perverts, the pleasure began to wear off for our Diana. In those days, the male chauvinism was unbelievable. They treated her like some sort of second-class housemaid. The Avengers schedule made things even worse. I was at the studios from quarter to six until half past eight at night, and I had no life. And even when I did have a free weekend, suddenly I was Emma Peel to everybody around me. So I felt I must break from it. Yes, mother. And in 1968, she did. Yes, it looks as though I'll be needing a replacement. As soon as possible. Mrs. Peel's fun and frolics with her trusty steed were over. When they actually 
had to say goodbye. They are terribly fond of one another. And I think Diana had been crying a little bit. Always keep your bowler on in times of stress. Watch out. I'll remember. Goodbye, Steve. Emma. Thanks. I couldn't but react to her in a way which was, oh, God, I'll never see her again. Still, this being Steed, there was always a consolation prize. Excuse me, apartment three, at the top of the stairs, thanks. Um. And then we just had this lovely moment on the, on the stairs. He likes his tea stirred. Anti-clockwise. The fact that she was leaving was devastating, certainly to me. If I had been able to go myself, I would have gone at the same time. Yeah, that was the time to go.